What a nice surprise. This guy's from San Francisco Magazine. I I'm one of the 10 most eligible bachelors in the city. Can you believe it? <laughs> Marty, we need to talk. Not a good time, Nat. Did you just call me Nat? Hey, hey, get one with me and Monk. No. Here, no, 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 this is good. It's like a summit of great minds. Philip Marlowe meets Sherlock Holmes. It's about your mother. A little something she might have overheard while at work. Okay, the, the music's too loud, I can't hear. Take, take a five, take a five. We know how you did it, Marty. We figured it out. How I did what? Didn't your mother ever tell you that cheaters never win? Actually, it was your mother's idea. She works for Pacific Global Airlines, doesn't she, in the quality control department? Yeah, so? This call may be monitored for quality purposes. Here's what happened. After the murders, Blanchard and Dial went back to their motel room, counted their jewels, and then they called the airlines to buy plane tickets to Costa Rica. They were put on hold. What they didn't know was that your mother was already on the line monitoring their call. They must have been on hold for quite a while because they talked about everything, who they killed, where they dumped the car, even where they hid the masks. But she didn't call the police. She called you and told you everything you needed to know to solve the case. Or at least pretend to solve it. You're a very smart man. Yeah, he's the real thing. Yep. Yeah. Of course, you, you realize you have no proof for any of this. Don't airlines record phone conversations? Yes, Nat, I believe they do. Yeah. Yes, they certainly do. But those conversations have a way of being accidentally erased. So it's really your word against mine. And who do you think everyone's going to believe? The amazing Marty Eels or uh, yesterday's news? <laughs> Phone's been ringing off the hook. Cases, cases, cases. <laughs> Would you mind? Eels Investigations. Hey, Marty. I got a proposition for you. Who's this? My name's Vic. We never met. I think you know my partner, though, Eddie Dial. Uh, in fact, you and your friends arrested him yesterday. How did you get this number? This is my private line. It's the first number on your mother's speed dial. My mother? Did you really think you could screw with me and get away with it? Where is she? I just left her. She's fine. For now. If you want to see her again, listen carefully. The jewels belong to me. I want them back. The jewels? Bring them to the Dunn Street bus terminal by 8 o'clock. Put them in locker 240 on the upper level. I got a spare key. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I, 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 don't, I can't get to the jewels. They're, 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 they're locked up. They're in evidence. You can do it, Marty. I've been reading all about you. You're the flavor of the month. Just tell them you want to examine the evidence. Tell them you want to use it to set a trap. I, I, I don't care what you tell them, OK? Just, just get them back. All right, and Marty. What? No cops. Come alone. Remember, if anything happens to me, your mother's dead by 820. He just called. He's got my mother. Oh, my God. I call the captain. No, 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 no cops. He said no cops or he'd kill her. Mr. Monk, please. You got to help me. Do all right. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't. Let's go. All right. Let's just go over this one more time. Can you think of anything else you might have said on the phone? <laughs> No cop! Oh. He said if he even smells a cop, she's dead. Oh my gosh, Marty, for the tenth time, no one's calling the cops. She's right. Marty, look, we know where he's gonna be at 8 o'clock. If we can find your mother before that time, then the cops can pick him up then. I know, right, ah. right. Natalie, right, I got it's it. all over the I'm couch. on it! Oh. Marty, can you just please sit on the couch, all right? You're making Mr. Monk very nervous. All right, one more time. The kidnapper said he just left her, right? 
So she can't be too far from where he made that phone call. Do you remember anything else about the phone call? Like what? Like what? Like anything, noises in the background. I don't know. He doesn't know. This wasn't even my idea. My mother made me do this. She forced me into it. She said it was the only way a loser like me was ever going to be able to solve a real crime. She sounds delightful. Hey, that's my mother. Where do you get off talking about somebody else's mother? Okay. What's Marty, wrong with you? Marty, 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 Marty. Concentrate. Can you please just try to think? You must have heard something. Yeah, the, uh... An ocean. I think he was near an ocean. There you go. And there was, um... A ringing, like 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 a clang, clang, with, with a, a sound before it, um, it like, uh, thud, clang, thud, clang. Okay, yeah, give me a minute. Thud, clang. Yeah, Marty, I got it. Thud, clang. Let me think. Okay. Oh my God, she's here. Okay. She's here. She's here. She's here. Mom. No. Mom. No, Marty. Mom. Don't, don't Mom. get separated. You Mom. stay with the group. Marty, I, I want you to focus. Can you focus? All right. The caller said that she would be dead by 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 8:20. Was it? Why 8:20? Why not 8 o'clock or 8:30? 8:20. Think. I'm thinking. Well, think harder. What don't you think? Hey, I'm not the great big famous detective. Well, you were two hours ago. Natalie. What? 820. What's 820? High time.